Hey guys, RC here, back with our next edition of Let's Play WMMA4. Uh, just an update on the game. I did see a post from the developer uh, yesterday, or to, I saw it today, but it may have been from last night. Um, somebody had posted on the uh, game forum that they had just bought the previous version, MMA3, and we're really enjoying it and we're wondering about maybe buying this version MMA4 and he said I probably would not with the new MMA5 quote on the horizon end quote so that game is evidently getting very close to completion now how close I can't say uh, I'm you know I, I'm reading into that statement just like you would be my feeling is if you can get MMA4 at a good price and you don't own any of the other uh, versions, then it might be worth getting to tide you over just in case it's a month or two months away, whatever the case may be. But anyway, just wanted to let you know. Uh, getting into the video, before we get into the event, which we have uh, Battlerama 2 and TFG4 both taking place on the same night, great scheduling uh, wanted to go and look at a couple of changes uh, Hideyoshi Ajibana if we look at him uh, you see he is now under contract with Alpha One as well as TFG uh, now the good thing is let's close that for a second if we go to the company rankings so Alpha One has fallen to a low-level international. Um, and we are up to number nine. I could swear that they are able to offer, at an international, they could offer, one, you know, individual contracts where, you know, oh, I forget the word I'm looking for. Basically, the top the top organizations can offer a contract where you only you're you're committed to them you cannot fight for anybody else but if we look at how he shows up it says he's under contract with both now let's see if we can look at his employment Okay, and it is exclusive, so I have a standard. So evidently he has one more fight with me, and then he becomes full property of Alpha 1, and I lose him. And yes, he is slated to fight at TFG 5 uh, in October. So I'm going to take him off of my short list. I just wanted to kind of show you the guys that we were on the verge of losing. Uh, the next guy is Jin Yamani, and again, he's at Battle Rama 2 tonight, uh, Which, but then he flips over to Gamma, who is the number one organization. Why they're going after a 37-year-old that's 19 and 15, I don't know, but, eh, what are you going to do? So we're going to unshortlist. I just put these guys on my short list to show them to you, and Tashima uh he is under contract with Alpha One. Uh, he fought one fight with us and became the and became our champion, I believe. But he has signed with Alpha One, and it is exclusive. And that's too bad. Now let me see middleweight Tashima. belts. Middleweight. Oh, it's vacant at this time. History. Nope. So middleweight. I will have to watch for that. He may. He doesn't have an upcoming fight. I didn't see one. Did I? No. No fight scheduled. All right. We're going to remove him off our short list. So anyway, you can see we've lost three guys now. Two of them will finish out their current fight that they're already booked for but then they will flip over to that other company and I will no longer have any access to them. 
again, thanks uh, again to Tyler Simmons for the new logo. Uh, definitely looks much more awesome than my amateurish work. <laughs> and we should have two cards. Now, probably what I will do... I will probably split this into two videos. Um, I'll do Battle Rama and do one card, and then I'll flip do another video for uh, the next TFG event. All right, got to turn off that pre-show analysis. So we have six main event uh, fights, four prelim fights, and then we have the uh, Tiger Fight Group featherweight title on the line. Diaz versus Mikio. All right, in the prelim, we have La Tigres, Carol Bell, and the Huntress, Debbie Starr, both making their pro debuts. Starr's a pretty heavy favorite. And Bell with the upset via knockout in the first round. A great fight. That's a good way to start the preliminary. A little upset, a knockout, a great fight. Gets the fans riled up. Nice. Wonder Woman, Agnes Hawkins from New Zealand, and La, Magnif La, La Magnifique, Angel Gellar from Sydney. Again, both pro debuts. Gellar, a slight favorite, not too much. And Hawkins gets the win, another knockout. 22 seconds of round one via a kick. Wow. That just sounded exciting. All right, the king of Mai Tai, Edwin Hudson, his pro debut. And Kyle Gilbert, his pro debut. Gilbert, pretty heavy favorite. That has meant absolutely nothing so far. And again, Hudson defeats Gilbert, a split decision. So it was a good match. We had two judges vote for Hudson, one for Gilbert. So it was a pretty close fight. In fact, we can go back here. 29-28 Gilbert, 29-28 Hudson, 29-28 Hudson. All right, well. All right, Danger Fist, Philip Youngblood, his pro debut, the amazing Darren Gurgle, 0-1 in his pro career. He's a heavy favorite tonight, and Gurgle does defeat him by arm triangle, a good match. All right, that's the end of the preliminaries. Now we're on to the main show. We open up with Minitor, Vernon Bailey, and Dr. Head Kick, Roland Salmon. Both making pro debuts. Salmon a pretty heavy favorite. And Salmon does defeat him in the second round on strikes. A great match. Next up, we have the WrestleManiac, Craig Borden, and Roger McFly. McFly. Back to the Future? What? I think his name was Roger, too, if I remember correctly. No, Marty. It was Marty McFly. My bad. But anyway, Back to the Future. Um, pretty heavy favorite, both making their debuts. And McFly gets a unanimous decision. We can check out the scores. All right, 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. Uh, it was unanimous. I don't know why I was reading split there, but my bad. All right, two more pr debut guys. This is where we started trying to get basically all of our wrestlers, all of our fighters pushed through uh, to get the weight classes filled out. So when we actually start looking at the rankings, they actually make sense and mean something because all the fighters will have a fight at that point to be in it. So we're looking to have that done by the end of the, the calendar year, which we're in September. All right, Jimmy Alexander, the Seeker, against Stanley Hunt. Kimura, pro debuts. Kimura, pretty heavy betting favorite. And Kimura does defeat Jim, Jeremy Alexander by armbar. Round two, and a fantastic fight. All right, Barry McQueen, Tyrone Sarah, two more debut guys. Should be a close fight. Sarah's a slight favorite. Sarah gets gets him on TKO in, on strikes in round three. A good fight. Chad Anderson and Jen Yamane, both are minus 110 betters. 
pro debut for Anderson, Yamane. Actually, I hope he loses because, remember, he is the one going to Gamma after this fight. It would be nice to send him off with uh, another loss. So, go Anderson. <laughs> uh, and knocked him out in round two. Decent fight. See you later, man. All right, Alvin Diaz. Debut, Pain Demon Kodaira Mikio. He's 10 and 5 with one no contest, 30 years old. Uh, pretty close betting lines, and this is for the Featherweight Championship. And the young Diaz, in his pro debut, defeats Mikio on strikes in the fourth round. He gave us a good fight. All right, so we have our Featherweight Champion. That'll be Alvin Diaz. Uh, let's see, we brought in 228 people, a critical rating of 76, so that's well over the 60 threshold. Commercial rating of 42 puts us in that mid-level regional area. Not great, but pretty good. All right, we went up a little bit, went up a good bit in Japan. Wow, double what we, almost double what we did in Australia. Might have to give some thought to putting some more fights on outside of Australia. Hmm. All right, well, Hunt gets the fight of the night and the submission of the night, so he makes a little bit of scratch. Jen Yamane takes a little bit of my money and uh, runs off to Gamma with it with the knockout of the night. I could be a jerk and change that, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Not going to do that. All right, and we actually lost money on this fight. 22000 on the gate receipt. Mm. That's too bad. You know what, let's go ahead and put a cut in right here, and then we'll just do a separate video for the next fight card. So thanks for checking this out. We'll come back right back, and I'll record another episode for the TFG card, and then we should be able to take a look at uh, rankings at that point. So catch you guys later. Bye.